Roger Gallegos, founder and owner of Beacon Marketing. I hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanted to speak to you about something I call the marketing gap. Now marketing gap is where you are currently now with your marketing efforts versus where you want to be in the future. This can be something like, do I have my social media account set up like Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, yes or no? Or how many email um, emails am I sending out to my audience on a given month or on a given week, something like that. So it helps you understand where you currently are and what you need to do to get to where you would like to be. To help assess, define, and track this, I've developed something called the Marketing Inventory. Now it's a branded tool for Beacon Marketing, this particular one, but the concept is could be universal. The concept of taking inventory is just taking stock of where you're at with your current marketing efforts to understand what needs to be done. Now let's discuss what I mean by understanding where you're at. First off, you have to assess yourself and just be honest with everything that, that these questions that I'm going to be asking of you and what you ask of yourself. Just be honest. Don't lie. This isn't, you're not going to be graded on it. This is to help you and remember this to help you understand where you're currently at and it could help you understand how you could close that gap. So first, speak to what channels are you using? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Instagram, LinkedIn? Do you have email marketing? Do you use, utilize any email marketing, text message marketing, websites, landing pages? Uh, what sort of print things do you use? Just write down everything that you use and understand. Ask yourself, how often do you develop and publish content? For instance, I create weekly YouTube videos. I would put that out there say, YouTube, four videos a month, one per week. What types of content are you putting out there? I put blogs, videos, images. I, I put advice in terms of um, tips of the week. Uh, I share when I can. I share articles that I find interesting. So jot down what types of content that you develop. Um, understand where does your audience get your info at? Say, where does my audience get your info? Now, what this helps you understand is it goes back to that marketing channel question. If you stop and say, all my, my audience gets their, their, their info from emails, then you can say, that, do I really want to spend so much of my time on social media or vice versa? Next, this is a big one. You want, to, you want to ask yourself, is my brand consistent through all my platforms? This is, do I have the same logo on all my um, social media platforms? Is the about us correct? Do I have the right hours posted? Is my, if you have a, a physical office, is my, are my addresses correct? You want to make sure everything from top to bottom is correct and matches. That way, there's no way someone gets confused. So that is how you can take inventory and begin closing the gap. Because once you understand where you are, where you're at, you can start saying, this is where you want to be. And you could go through the list and say, and prioritize, say, based, especially when you, once you understand where your audience gets your info, say, I really want to focus on social media. That's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram. These are the things I need to do to get those correct and get those up to par. So you can start reaching your audience. Now, Let's talk about where, I'm sorry, when you could take inventory. You can take inventory whenever you want. Uh, you could take it at the very beginning of strategy development so you just have a better idea. Like right now I just said, hey, when you take it, you have a better understanding of where you're at. Taking it at the beginning of uh, strategy development is very useful because you have a place to start, like a jumping off point. You can even take it during or after your strategy development to see if you've hit all your bases or if you're on the right track, just to say, okay, am I forgetting anything? And then you could also take inventory during a periodic review of the performance of your marketing strategy. So once a month, once a quarter. I personally recommend once a quarter just to, not that you don't have to make any big changes, but you could just sit there and, and engage, particularly if you're tracking your followers and engagement, that's where taking inventory during that process, uh, during your management of your marketing strategy could really go into places when you're um, trying to understand uh, what how your um, marketing strategy is performing uh, via followers, uh, engagement and conversions. Um, 
The last thing I want to speak about, and I referenced this earlier, is I developed a marketing inventory for Beacon. I will uh, put, um, if you have information, if you would like some information, please uh, send me in and I will actually send you a free copy to download and you can take inventory yourself and you can set up a consultation to discuss how to use that. Because to me, taking inventory is such a great part of understanding or such a great tool and great way to understand where you're at and what you need to do to improve your marketing efforts. So that's it. That's, you know, this is a short video, shorter video this week. I just want to discuss this quick topic because understanding what you need to do to improve your marketing is such a vital part. And if you do this periodically, you'll always be improving, always keeping your messaging fresh and always finding new and inventive ways to engage your audience. So taking inventory can uh, accomplish many great things. So um, if you have any questions, as always, do not hesitate to um, to reach out. Uh, I look forward to uh, hearing anything you, you may, uh, any questions you may have. So have a great one and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.